We are here at the ISRO Command Network in Bengaluru, where within a few hours we'll get to know whether Chandrayaan-3, India's ambitious moon mission, will land near the south pole of the lunar surface. I'm joined by Mr. Chetan Kumar, who's a science journalist with Times of India. Chetan, first of all, take us through what are some of the challenges that, that we face while landing on south, near the south pole of the lunar surface. See, one of the major challenges on the, you know, landing on moon yeah. is the fact that the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, which means you cannot use the drag that exists, you cannot employ or deploy parachutes, mm -hmm. like how, you know, uh, things that are brought back into Earth, crew modules or the space shuttle, all of which that, you know, these drogue parachutes that are used to reduce the drag, that cannot be done. So you will have to use propulsion systems, that is rockets, to uh, reduce the velocity and get the orientation correct and eventually land at a designated spot. So to do this, you know, ISRO is, is using propulsion systems. There are two uh, engines that will fire, although the redundancies include two more engines. So there's a whole lot of challenge in this controlled landing because one, the lunar gravity is lumpy and uh, so far also there has been a lot of challenges that ISRO has had to overcome to reach here. So the critical challenge of landing is that to be able to remain in control of uh, the spacecraft and uh, hoping that all the commands that uh, ISRO would have you know, uh, sequenced by now, they get executed and all systems work in unison. So that is a big challenge, especially the use of propulsion system to control the aircraft where you can't uh, allow it to uh, sort of free fall and then use parachutes. Is this only with the moon or is there anything particularly different about the south pole of the lunar surface? No, landing anywhere on the moon is, is uh, challenging. Okay and going to the polar region of most celestial bodies like even on earth you know the polar regions bring their own challenges the temperatures are different and compared to the equatorial regions so there will be a lot of additional challenges once you know the landing happens in terms of extreme temperature variations that uh, vikram the rover lander and pragyan the rover will have to endure and overcome you know to uh, complete their task for the next 14 days but uh, landing anywhere on the moon is extremely challenging and uh, doing it around the poles is, is slightly more challenging. I remember last time when we were speaking in Sri Aurikota during the launch, you had said that there is no space race as such. But right now, recently, after Russia's Luna 25 crash landed on the surf on the moon surface, there were a lot of talk about the how, how all eyes are on India. So, is there an unsaid space race going around? No, no. See, the question to ask is if if Russia had succeeded, would there be even one pair less of eyes on uh, India's Chandrayaan 3? I don't think so. See, Russia had Luna 25 planned and ISRO had uh, Luna, I mean Chandrayaan 3 planned. And as per the respective plans, they conducted their launches and from there on, they had different approaches to reach the moon. Uh, Russia employed a more direct approach while uh, India's Chandrayaan 3 did, you know, circles around the Earth and then the TLI and that process was approached. And India specifically wanted to land when there's dawn uh, on moon, right? And the Russians were able to, I mean, if, if they were successful, they had technology to land even a day in advance, basically land there when there's no sunlight. They had uh, te technology to uh, keep their systems warm. So Russia failing, uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't agree that Russia's uh, failure sort of has brought more attention to Chandrayaan-3 or uh, if Russia had succeeded, there would have been any less attention on Chandrayaan-3. I think uh, there is a lot of attention on moon and rightly so. So if you look at any lunar mission, you will see the same kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, excitement around the globe and Chandrayaan-3 is no different. Also, Chetan, if the landing does not take place as expected today, what next? See, by now, uh, what's the time now? It's, yeah, it's around 3.30. By now, I think the automatic uh, landing sequence uh, would have been enabled. So now it's just waiting time. So I don't think uh, uh, anything else could be done now. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a long wait now until, you know, all the commands get executed, which is uh, expected to begin from around uh, 5.44 when uh, Vikram arrives at the you know, expected designation from where landing can happen. So from there on, if something were to go wrong, I don't know if uh, there can be a salvage of the lander. So that will mean that ISRO will have to, you know, attempt a moon mission all over again. Uh, so I think they're fairly confident as of uh, today and landing should happen. Thank you so much, Ethan Kumar, for joining the News Minute.